Niners are playing the Browns in Cleveland, and Deshaun Watson is not going to play. Does this give the Browns a better or worse chance to win this game, Jose? Oh, no. Deshaun Watson's out. What on earth are the 49ers going to do? Um, this is, I mean, I think it is not, it, honestly the real matchup here. Like, sure, it's going to help a little bit because facing a backup quarterback versus a starter is always a good case, right? It's never going to hurt. But the real matchup in this was always all along going to be the 49ers offense versus the Browns defense. Like, this doesn't really change too much. If anything, the real change that it does help the 49ers in terms of benefit is let's say the 49ers do have that tough, you know, do do have that tough matchup with the Browns. Like, okay, then they're definitely not going to score 30 today and 20 is looking like a stretch. Then all of a sudden, defense, pick it up. You're facing a backup quarterback. Let's force some errors. Let's let's see those sacks that we've been missing. Let's see those picks that we've been kind of missing. Mean, I know they got three off, the, off Dak Prescott, but come on, Dak Prescott was always going to give that up. Let's see more of those opportunities. Let's help your offense out because pretty much the story of the season has been the 49ers offense, right? They're scoring 30-plus a game. They're moving the ball like crazy. I mean, it's kind of made the 49ers defense almost an afterthought, even though they're still a premier side. But I think this will be the game that, okay, the offense really needs the defense to be the anchor, be the superhero, and save them and bail them out. And I think that's where they really benefit from Deshaun Watson being out. Now you got P.J. Walker in there. So you, you think you think Deshaun Watson is better than P.J. Walker? Really? Wow. I'm not saying it's better, but I think also if you if you factor in Steve Wilkes knows PJ Walker, right? From his time with Carolina yeah, last year. So I point. think he would know yeah. what he's gonna do to try to force him into some errant spots. To me, it's it's app tomato, tomato, tomato. It's like okay, the quarterback situation is kind of poo-poo in that situation, no matter what. Um, it, it's it's pretty ugly. I mean, yeah, if it was Dorian Thompson Green, maybe I feel definitely a little easier because you got a rookie Robinson. in that situation. I mean, excuse me, yeah, excuse me, sorry. sorry. <laughs> There's a bunch of, right. a bunch of hyphenated out there. Bunch of um, yeah. I, I would say then feel more confident because then the Ravens really put them put them in their corner. But I think because you have Steve Wilkes knowing PJ Walker from Carolina last year, it helps a little bit. And you know, it, it'll give them more time to pre for press for more errors on their side. I'm looking at PJ Walker's game log last year with Carolina when Steve Wilkes was the interim head coach, and there was one game against Atlanta. Atlanta, where yeah. they lost, but they put up 34 points, and he threw for 317 yards and a touchdown and a pick. And then there was another game against Tampa that he won where he went 16 for 22 for 177 yards and two touchdowns and no picks. It's very Brock Purdy-esque, Josh Dobbs-esque. We'll say Josh Dobbs-esque game. So, yeah, the Niners are going to win big time. Deshaun Watson, even if he had played, though, like wasn't there a game a few weeks ago where he had like three personal foul calls on him? He was like face masking people, like against Pittsburgh, I think, or he something. He was doing like all that. kind of stuff that he wasn't supposed to do. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a joke. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if it, it a backup quarterback at this point, like Walker, like it, it, it feel it feel a little easier on, on the superficialness, at least in that sense. Because um, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's like it, it never really mattered who the quarterback was going to be. They didn't have anyone impressive there in the first place, and even then, there's no Nick Chubb. So who's the real threat in that offense? Now it's like, who the hell do they even have that you're like, watch out for this guy, Amari Cooper? C come on. Like, there's no one on that offense that's really like, like you really have to circle and do your utmost to stop them. Okay, I'll ask a question. Will the Browns offense score a touchdown in this game? <laughs> I, I think one. they'll get one. I think they'll get one. They'll get one? Because the 49ers have been good to give up like a, like a random one for some reason. Like just one. There's always that one drive. It's like, and then you see everyone on Twitter get all pissed. What is this defense doing? It's like, it's one drive. Relax. Come on. He, it's not like this was the third or fourth time. I think it'll be good for one. If anything, it'd probably be a garbage time. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. All right. So one touchdown, maybe maybe 10 points. Wait, I was about to say, like, over under 13 points yeah. of Browns. Under. Ah.